Hey guys, it's Game to Atari, and uh, this is my new video showing you how uh, you can make muzzle flare shots, uh, as famously seen on movies and well, famous YouTubers such as Freddy W. Well, first thing you need your footage. I have mine here. So just footage of me shooting. See? And well, that's it. Okay, uh, I'm shooting a fake blowback gun with the orange regulation tip as it's not really illegal where I am to even have a house without an orange regulation tip. So, I'm gonna... now, uh, first, uh, after copying your video if you need to, you need a muzzle flare shot. Now, this you can get from an accent, uh, action essentials pack, such as... Uh, video co-pilots which has a really cool one I have it here uh, well actually I uh, which I have but um, if you can't afford it for the smoke and all all you gotta do is go to Google Images yep and once you do in Google type in muzzle flash First things you get the black screen. That and it will, yeah, this one or this one. Just depends on what kind of muzzle flash you want. If you want a like a MGI 40, that looks like one, or just an old pistol shot like the tutorial scene on Freddy W. That's the one he used. So see, there are many kinds of muzzle flashes and flares and blah blah blah. Uh, since I have an accident shells in this pack, I'm going to skip this scene where I'm going to. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I haven't imported yet, but I've opened the folders. Now, me, since I couldn't afford it, I actually torrented it. And if you wanted to a tutorial on tor torrents and you don't know what they are, Gigafight has a good video. Um, if you don't know him, he's a good uh, computer tutorialist. And I'll leave a link to that in the description, or I'll just pop this on the middle of video, whatever's comfortable. Now, uh, uh, in Gunshot, you, uh, you can use the Google Images one. That is an easier way. Okay, I'm going to use the Google Images one. There you go. Muzzle flash. Where is it? There. And I'll go use Fred one. Okay. There you go. Okay, I'm back and I've imported the file. See? Uh, this looks like a little small, so I'm going to zoom it in so you can see it probably. Yeah, that's good. Now, uh, to make gunshot, yeah, okay, first you're going to need cube composition. Just drag this thing onto the, and you get per picture perfect. Then, keep pushing the page down button, go to the exact frame where you pull the trigger. And where more likely the gunshot is supposed to be. Okay, in my case, right before the motion blur, here we go. So what you do is you drag this down, oops, sorry, above it. Come on. There we go. Okay, now what you need to do is to get rid of this black, just uh, click here. Uh, oh yeah, it's not here. Here, and click screen. That removes the... Uh, Okay. Now you you gotta rotate this flip. We use rotate to flip this over because muzzle flashes are bigger from the start and get smaller at the tip. So I'm gonna rotate that and put it right. That looks good, a little bigger. Okay, as you know, muzzle flashes are really big, bigger than what you see on those YouTube videos. Small stuff. Okay. Now what we need to do is make a frame, a start and end point, a little smaller than what it is. Uh, about one frame is okay because it's going to appear for only one second. Let's preview that. Let's preview that. Okay, so I accidentally shorted out the video. Okay, so when you shorten out the frame, let's preview that. Uh, that looks pretty good. Let's preview it that thing. Okay, let's preview one more time. Okay, well that looks good. 
Now, uh, we need to add a sound effect, which is a bullet shot, which I have in my action essentials pack. Let's do this one. The, the bonus sound effects is done with. Let's go with. Let's see how the. So I've opened one. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so all I need to do is drag this in. Import it. Okay. And you've imported it, add it to the layer. Make it exactly the exactly the frame. Exactly the whatever because the previous now of the whole selection. Oh yeah guys and when you're previewing there will be no sound. So when you render it, like you go to the layer, add to render I mean I'm sorry, composition and add to render. Yeah, when you click on double click on lossless, uh, you click audio output, so the sound is also import output with it. Now I'm going to show you the method with the uh, with the action essentials if you have it. Now let's do this. Now, uh, increase the video. Let's just leave everything to better. Uh, let's add the video. Oh, oh yeah, I can Oh yeah, add so, Okay. Now, uh, to use the action of sound, I'll find the like disc 2, actually. Water glass, mother flash. Here we go. A good uh, a good muzzle flash to use anyone. Muzzle flash one is not bad. Okay, here it is. Let's just preview that. You can even parent the muzzle flash so that it uh, frames faster, but that's not requirement. Okay, there. Yeah. It's too small, it's lengthened it out. Let's preview it just for a second. Yeah, the frame rates will be smaller due to the generation now, generating of the mother flash. Okay, now let's do the, the thing we did the last time. We'll see the frames one by one until we reach a specific point. You can even keyframe your blowback if you uh, don't have the, if you don't have a blowback gun. And sure enough, the frames. Okay. Now we place the thing. Oh yeah, we need to rotate it first because, as I said, puzzle flashes are bigger at the start and get smaller. Okay. And oops. It's okay if it's tilted too, no one's gonna notice. It's gonna flash in before their eyes. But this actually looks bad. I don't even care as long as the pros watching, they won't even care if the mother flash bigger. And then the tip. Find that. Okay. The friends are supposed to blow out. But still needs to look real. Okay, that's good. Now we preview our little video. No, that's that's not good. Okay, let's double on this. Okay. okay, here we go. Just to drag that here. Now let's see, it's probably gonna look better. Okay, now all we need to do is add the sound effect. Which is found in this one. Oh wait, I don't need to see it. Uh, I don't care about the transform layer, I brought that back so I place this and listen to some classic shooting. Now since I can do it, I can, can't show you this because the sound's not there, I'm going to render this out and I'm going to review the video from there. But we're going to cut it out so it's not going to be such a problem. Okay, render almost complete. There we go. It's going to be ready to. I'm gonna fire the video, video, let's preview, that looks good, 
Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more.